Hi YouTube! Um, so I'm just going to show you guys some stuff really quick because it's about to get paid for. So then I will be giving it a, uh, away. Um, well, not giving it away, but yeah. So um, really quick, I just want to show you some things that I did with some like extra resin that um, a cup, quite a few didn't come out because... I did a really small batch of resin for the doming on the back, and it's like super sticky, so here's the first one, and it's really, really, really sticky on the back, and I'm not happy about that. Same thing with this one, very, very sticky on the back, and this one's very sticky, oops, it's supposed to be a cupcake, it'll focus, yeah. So I have two of these, and... These are all getting thrown away, which sucks, but, like, look at that. Freaking, I'm so mad. Ugh, whatever. Stick them together. They're going to go together. I'm bummed about this. So, anyway, so then these are sticky on the back, too. And so are these. And these ones I'm really bummed about because they were supposed to be for my mom. I was going to make earrings. But, again, very, very... Very sticky on the back. And, uh, I've let them cure for a while. And I don't use acrylic paints, so it's not the paint. Uh, because I don't use it. And, um, the only thing I can think of is that I mixed a much smaller batch than I normally do. And I think I just mixed too small of a batch for the reaction to, like, occur properly. So then, I made this one, which is a fail, just because it's, like, I don't know, it's weird. It's all wonky. I mean, besides the overpour, the overpour is ridiculous. But, I don't know, maybe I can salvage it. We'll see. And then this one, which is really pretty, I just have to back it. It's going to be a pendant. And then I just made, I had a bunch of uh, leftover glow-in-the-dark stuff, so I made this bow, this puffy heart, and um, I have a special order for my glow-in-the-dark earrings, but, uh, for white gold backs, so I just need to make the ear wires for those. There's those. I made these two tiny bows over pour, but that's alright. Easily taken care of. Not like I'll ever get around to it, but <laughs> it's a nice thought. Uh, this heart, this bow, and this, which I thought I got all the bubbles out of, like I checked it, and nope, ton of bubbles, so bummer on that. So I showed uh, three of my friends, woo, the cell phone cover that I made for my cell phone, and each of them wanted something different, so that's what I'm getting, uh, giving away today, and, and then one of my friends, her mom also wanted one, so I made four total. So the first one was Alice in Wonderland themed. So I made, um, like I have the little pearl flowers that I painted like red, so it's like paint the roses red, and she also likes antique and pearls, so I put like the dolly inspired clock in the, uh, the teapot, so that's the Alice in Wonderland themed one. And then for her mom, she wanted, like, an antique and pearl, so I just made this one. It's really simple, but I really, really like this one. This one, I think, is one of my favorites, and it took the least amount of time. I just think it's really cute. It's really pretty. And then my f my other friend likes moons and stars and stuff, so I made this one, which is kind of inspired by uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night. So it's got, like... You know, different colors up here, and then lots of dark blue. This is like a dark blue. I hope the camera's like picking it up pro properly, but it's a dark, really dark, beautiful blue. It's got two little stars with little rhinestones inside of them. I don't know if you can see that there is, in fact, a rhinestone. And then for my other friend, she said she wanted it like bling, bling, blinged out with uh, a crown. So <laughs> I made this. And it shows up, the crown shows up a lot better when there's, like, white behind it, but it's silver and it's got, uh, it's got gemstones on it. So this is, like, a clear with the silver foil backing, and then this is a clear AB, and then in the middle here, it kind of melds together. I don't know if you can see that properly. 
And then since I'm moving to another state, uh, I made my friends kind of like a parting gift. Each of them gets one, and they go with the cell phone cover. So for the Alice in Wonderland theme one, I made this out of clay and uh, just painted it partly red, and it's got some antique little keys, um, some Swarovski crystal pearls, and the Swarovski bicones in... Um, Oh my goodness, I can't remember the, the name of this color. Focus! My camera's being a you-know-what. Why are we not focusing properly? There we go. So there's that one. And then for the... Oh, and the roses glow in the dark. And then for the um, moon-themed one, I followed Franny XO's tutorial, and I'll try to link that down below. Um, and I made this little moon, and then I've got a little star that goes with it, and some blue check beads that kind of reminded me of galaxies, and then these little, um, like, geode parts. And, uh, yeah, I really like this one. I think it's cute. The moon's glow in the dark, too. And it's clay. And then for our resident princess, <laughs> she she calls herself a princess too, so she won't hate me if I say it. So I made her this one with golds and silvers and this heart with the bling. Bling, 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 bling. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it. That's what I've been working on. These cell phone covers take so long. I swear, that's, it's ridiculous. Especially, like, this one took me for freaking ever. Because I have to do every single jewel, like, one by one. And these are, like, two millimeters, and I did three millimeter and four millimeter. Pain in the butt. Uh, they're lucky I love them. <laughs> so, anyways, that's, uh, that's what I've been doing. And, uh, next week I will be announcing the winner of my giveaway. I have been looking at everybody's posts, um, and I will be, you know, talking to you guys about that when I do the, the winner video. So, good luck everybody, and I will talk to you guys next, actually this weekend. Alright, bye.